you! Don't hurt me! What the? Who is that? It all started back during the invasion. My family found themselves trapped in the city, and I was just a wee little child. Okay, now, little one, just stay here, okay? You understand me? Don't leave this alley no matter what. Please, don't cry, my beautiful little girl. It'll all be okay. I'm gonna come back for you, okay? I promise. Mommy's not gonna let anything bad happen to you. Honey, they found us! We gotta go, now! Goodbye, dear. I love you. There was nothing I could do but listen to the sound of those horrible toilet creatures rip my parents limb from limb. So I closed my eyes tight, wrapped my arms around the thing close to me, and started to pretend I was somebody else. Somebody stronger. Someone strong enough to leap out of that dumpster and save my parents from that miserable creature. But sadly, that wasn't the case. It was over, and I was all alone. I wasn't found until the next day when a group of cameramen turned down the alley. They were scouring the city, looking for survivors. Well, look at that. A survivor. And she's got a TV for a head. How peculiar. By then, I had changed. The laser beams from the Skibbities somehow mutated me, combining my DNA with that of the television. From that day on, speaker men watched over me. We were together for years and years, which technically made the camera people my family. Though, they didn't always see it that way. Move it, move it, move it! My new stepdad enrolled me in the military academy so he could keep a close eye on me. But his attention didn't make me very popular amongst my new peers. Ha! <laughs> nice throw, screenhead! Uh, hey! That's not fair! I was well behind my peers and struggling to fit in at the academy, but Speaker Man wasn't gonna let the bullies keep me down for long. <sighs> Everybody here hates me. I'm just not as good as everyone else. I don't belong at this school. Hey, don't say that. You do belong here. You just need to figure out what truly makes you special. But what if there is nothing special about me? Nonsense. Everyone has something that makes them special. And until you find what that is, in order for you to catch up with your peers, you need to work harder than all the rest of them combined. Do you understand me? He was right. I was going to have to work hard to catch up. And that's exactly what I did. you all by myself. Then maybe you should find a way for there to be two of you. Two of me? <laughs> That's impossible. Not if you think outside the box. <laughs> well, well. You've improved. But let's see just how much. Take this, and this, and this! Ugh. Sorry, little one, but it looks like your training isn't quite over yet. Time to end our duel. Huh? Ugh. I did not see that coming. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Yes! No, there's just one event left. Ha ha ha! Works every time. 
got it! Yes! I won! I won! I did it. I mastered every discipline there was to learn at the academy. My peers finally liked me. But not everyone was happy. Hey, she cheated! No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You can't just attach and fly like that. It's no fair. I didn't know I was being put up against some kind of freak show. I don't know what came over me. In that moment, I felt years of unbridled rage rush to the surface. And then the craziest thing happened. Oh, what's happening? All my rage, all those years of untapped anger, somehow I was channeling it all directly into my monitor. That's enough. Soldier, report to my office immediately. I'm sending you into action. What? But, sir, I, I haven't even graduated the academy yet. Well, we have no other choice. Recently, the enemy has developed new technology, a conveyor belt that equips their soldiers with buzzsaw attachments, gliders. We're sending you and a strike team in to take out the factory they're being made at. If you're unsuccessful, who knows what other horrifying gadgets and gizmos they may come up with. But, Dad, I mean, sir, what if I'm not ready? Don't say that. You are ready. I know you are. Here, I want to give you something. <gasps> Dad, really? Make me proud, young lady. Make us all proud. Which brings us back to where we started. Come on, there's gonna be more skibbities on their way. We need to move. Move! Ma'am, the factory we're looking for is just two blocks from here. All we need to do is break inside and plant these charges. With any luck, we'll be back at base camp by sunrise. Ma'am? Help! Somebody, please help me! <gasps> I can't believe it. It's really him. Honey, they found us! Ma'am, ma'am, is everything all right? What? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, everything is fine. I just, you go on without me. What? Stay back, please, I, I'm warning you. Please don't eat me. Hi hey, you think you can just keep hurting people and getting away with it? I don't think so. All right, a charge is planted. T minus two minutes until this place glows sky high. Take this! And this! And this! Huh? That's the moment it all hit me. This little girl wasn't just afraid of the skippity. She was afraid of me. I was supposed to be saving her, but instead, I was just acting like a monster. What had I become? Who was I? Come in, ma'am. Come in. Talk to me. What's the situation? I'm in big trouble over here. Don't worry. I'm on my way. Wait. Little girl, I need you to wait here for me. Can you do that? What? You're leaving me? Look, I promise you, nothing bad is going to happen to you. I'm coming back for you, okay? I'm not the monster you think I am. I'm a hero. 